Welcome to this week's Primed Insight. I'm Craig, one of the project managers here. You know, these two blast systems look exactly the same. The difference is, one's a performance blaster, the other one is a blasting rig. Well, I shouldn't say that. We can enhance the performance of your blasting rig. Today, we're going to be talking about maximising your airflow and saving money on abrasive. Did you know when the air comes in from your compressed air source to your blast machine, it splits and goes two ways goes down the pusher line and also into the blast machine to pressurize this system. What we have then is a variable state of compressed air supply. Why variable? Because every time the operator activates their dead man remote control, what happens is that the path of least resistance through the pusher line expels the air through the blast nozzle. However, we still have pressure in this pot, 100 psi, pushing the abrasive into the blast hose stream. What happens then is we end up with a slug of abrasive. This can be as much as 250 grams or a quarter of a pound for every activation. So not only do we lose valuable abrasive, but all that energy that your compressor has produced also blows out through the blast nozzle. This is called a pressure blowdown system. The valve here controls pressure buildup in the blast pot and also allows the air to go through to the metering valve. Did you know that we can improve your production rate by as much as 20% and decrease your abrasive consumption by 15% by going to a pressure hold system? With a pressure hold system, air still comes in through from the compressed air supply and still goes into the blast pot and down through the pusher line. However, now what happens is when the operator activates their remote control dead man handle, instead of this system blowing down its pressure, it holds it nice and tight. What does that mean? It means that all the energy we consume to produce this compressed air supply stays within the pot. And you might ask, well, how do we relieve that? Only when the blast pot has emptied of a brace. We simply drive through the valve here. That drops pop up the valve and the seal is broke. We refill the blast pot and we commence our blasting again. This way, with a pressure hold system, we're able to save 20% on your running costs, we can make you 20% more productive, and we can save 15% of your lost abrasive through your blast hose system. So with the pressure release system, what we have is this valve move back and release and exhaust the pressure here from the blast pot. This is what causes the abrasive that's in the line to be force fed into the valve and sit as a slug here. So with the pressure hold system, the air supply is held at the auto air valve, which means the blast vessel stays pressurized. That means we do not have abrasive force feeding into the abrasive valve. And we do not have the slug in the blast hose that'll make us non-productive and cause that wasted abrasive. So thanks for watching this week's Primed Insight. Look forward to talking to you next week.